Welcome back everyone to another episode of Carry On Fishing. It's a bank holiday Monday and uh, today we've come to Colmworth Golf Club on a very rainy bank holiday Monday as well. I think the weather's not going to be very kind to us today but <clears throat> in true Carry On Fishing it won't, uh, won't let us down. I'm pretty knackered today, I only had about three hours sleep <laughs> so Let's hope it's all worth it. Uh, we're after, what are we after today? Carp mostly, I should imagine. Mostly carp. There's a, f a few koi in there. Some nice tension there as well. I've got a few thousand roach and rod. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about those. <laughs> Piranhas. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully we get set up. It's just starting to rain. Oh. It hasn't really stopped actually since last <laughs> night, but uh, setting up in the rain is always fun. And uh, let's see how we get on today. shelters which I think are going to be quite essential for today with this weather. <coughs> Swing around. What time is it? We got here a bit earlier than... Uh... Oh, it's not too bad. It's getting on for half eight. Uh, see Phil's shelter in the background there. I'll come crawling out at any moment. And then we'll uh, discuss sort of pre-tactics really, looking at the lake. For me last time, the old dynamite bait, silver X, red colour. Got to be that in the old uh, mixer to begin with. Uh, I've actually nicked some of your stuff. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what this is. You have to... That is some cell ground bait, activated cell. Normally I use that for uh, stick mixes and stuff, but seeing as someone forgot some ground bait. <laughs> <laughs> Blame the three hours sleep I had last night. <laughs> well, some good stuff that. I've used that in a method feeder actually quite a bit. And... Alright, take your word for it. Right, today's bait. I've got the old trusty cell. Right, I've had really good results in the cell this year. You know, 15 millers. Got a few out there at a minute. But also, something else I've done really well on. Essential IB. A lot on that this year. Some really nice fish on there. And also, one I've had a go the last sort of month with spicy crab from Mainline. Just for good measure, some of your trusty boilies. A few of them in there. Just picking these at random. <laughs> It's a spicy crab one. That's pretty good, that one. Let's get some spicy crab. Someone like always used to say, you can't go wrong with a spicy crab. <laughs> some wise words from the old dealer. <laughs> Right, 
quite well. Just managed to get uh, set up, got the method feeder out, and uh, just putting up with the rain at the moment. I think it's going to be a bit of a uh, bit of an issue today. And when I've got this kind of shelter up, but uh, the problem with fishing in the rain is everything seems to get wet. But we'll do our best. The rods are out. We can only uh, hope that it will subside a little bit. Got me waterproofs on now. All kitted up. It's like the great Billy Connolly once said, there's no such thing as silly weather. Just silly clothing. Although you could argue this weather is a little bit silly. <laughs> But hey ho, we're in, uh, we're in high spirits, like I say, it's just gone 10 o'clock, we're fishing. I'm having a few doubts about my setup at the moment. The problem with this place is it's absolutely full to the brim of little tiny bleak and roach. Um, and I'm fishing with little tiny pellets on a banded hook link. And as soon as you cast in with the method feeder, it just gets swarmed by these little fish. And a few of them have actually nicked the um, pellet off of the band, which doesn't often happen. So it's kind of trying to work out a problem to get around that at the moment. But, uh, you know, days young. Plenty of time to switch things up, change them about. And we'll see how we get on. Alright, we're here. We're quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, old Radwell's hooked into something. Of course, something decent. Yeah, definitely a car. This one I was sort of a bit unhappy with my setup. <laughs> it's a lively one. Oh, it is a nice one. Hey. First fish of the day. Da, 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 da. <laughs> of course, nice one. Lovely. First fish of the day. Hey. Nice. <laughs> I'll do. Put it back. <laughs> Lovely. Well, there we go. First fish of the day in the rain. Worth putting up with for a couple of hours. Rods back in, see if we can get another one. minutes after I caught my fish. Uh, Phil's bite alarm has just screamed off. I've got a bit of water on the lens here. It's 
Not a very high tech fishing here, but carry on fishing, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we make do. And uh, here he is, he's onto a fish. of fighting them. Yeah. Never been anywhere really where they fight as much as yeah. yeah. And there we are. Oh, nearly. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on fishing. Yeah, baby. And then the net. gone midday. Uh, still just the two fish, one for myself, one for Phil, two very nice carp, but uh, the rain hasn't let up anymore and uh, we've sort of given it until two o'clock, another couple of hours, um, because it's, it's really hard to contend with, to be honest with you, everything's wet, it's, uh, it's really quite hard, but um, I've just changed that up to actually, I've just given my new reel a, uh, it's Maiden Voyage. Um, it's a fantastic new reel, I'm going to do a review actually on the channel of the reel. So uh, look out for that, I'll post a link to it in this video. If you want to check it out, it's a great, it's a map reel, uh, it's fantastic. So I'm giving that it's Maiden Voyage, uh, I've just switched over from the quiver tip to a uh, kind of a bite alarm because I did just have a take a little while ago on the quiver tip and because my rod's quite far away from me <laughs> it almost took the rod completely off the thing I wasn't quite paying attention in there quite an amusing moment, didn't catch that on film but it was rather funny so I thought well this one set the new reel up, it's got a bait runner on it and that won't happen again but we're going to give it another couple of hours um, if the rain doesn't let up I think this will just be a short episode for, uh, for today but hopefully we'll get another you know, another fish out between us before then. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Now coming up to three o'clock uh, in the afternoon. We said we were going to leave at two. The rain has 
died down a bit. We've had a couple more out. Uh, quite a nice carp. But I think we're going to call it a day for now because it's going to start raining again within the next half an hour according to the weather. So uh, we're going to leave it here for now but we're going to come back to this place. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a gem of a fishery really. It's quite hidden and it's got some very nice carp in there so uh, we will be back. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> False alarm. Uh, but we will be back. Look out for Colmworth Golf Club Fishery. It's coming soon. Thanks for watching.